I'll either be in level with it or I won't be. I do this every so often, I don't know why. I just like being a weirdo with mining. I did this with one of my... Um, ooh. Way to go. It is almost there. Damn. God damn, that was almost right. It's it very close. Chainsaw. You got what? Level 6 chainsaw. Nice. I don't know what level mine is, but I'm guessing it's a level 4 based on my auger. Is that belly rubs? That's the word. <laughs> oh, I. What did you type then? Sorry. Tummy pets. <laughs> Look, it's close enough. It's it's a thing that might be going too low. I may have to take this whole level down, or I just leave that. <coughs> yeah, I don't know. Every time I have to like fucking fix my voice up or clear my throat or something like that, it makes me wonder how next week's gonna go. I'm sure I'm going to end up with, like, a really fucking scratchy voice by the end of the week. I have heard some streamers that do subathons and stuff get, um, uh, what do you call it, like, throat numbing sprays uh, to help them. There was one, one of the ones I found, Ellie, she, um, she did this big sub subathon thing or whatever um, last year, right as I sort of started streaming, that's how I sort of found her. And, um, <coughs> sorry, every single day she was having to use this, like, voice spray thing because she was not used to, like, talking for, like, 18 plus hours. And I'm like, sweet Jesus, 18 hours. God damn. I'm going to see if I can just take down this shelf if I'm lucky. If I stay up against the wall here and just go sideways. Ooh, I got 10. Nice. You kind of cut off at the end though, but you did say blade traps, right? Yeah, all the blade traps. Yeah. Then Nightwolf seems to be pretty happy. He's whining about the belly rubs, so he seems seems to be enjoying them. Glad you're having fun. Now, unfortunately, I have to go, so please keep the pullet safe for me, Nightwolf. Oh yeah. Um. Well, I, I'm not sure what you're up to, but um, hopefully you have fun. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be here. You know I will be. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say you're sufficiently, like, made up to Nightwolf by the look of it. This he's giving you hugs. Come on, get this. There we go. Every so often, like, you can crouch through here and you can go by about one, but every so often you get stuck on an extra pointy rock that prevents you from moving. Oh yeah. I'll just like calmly pat your back as I'm like mining through stuff here, Nightwolf. Right now. I'm gonna dig my there we go. There we go. Yeah. Just kind of like casually just patting your back constantly. I'm gonna do that actually with um with my cats and even with when I had Sheila and stuff like that I'd just sit there and like just mindlessly pat and um like they'd just roll around to like vary the pats and stuff like that if like one spot got too sensitive or whatever because like you know how sometimes if you focus on something um you can end up doing a task for like too long um and obviously like when you're actually like patting patting like an actual fucking living creature and stuff like that it gets like it gets probably pretty uncomfortable after a while. It's been so overcast in this game today. Okay. Nearly dug my shelf through here. There we go. This has been pretty good. I've almost got it all more or less level. I'm trying not to take it down too much so that, um, yeah, Grim doesn't have it too far back. This is awesome. This is hilarious. I didn't mean to take it in like that, but I'm going to keep going and see if I can collapse it. I just want to see if I can get this to fall down on itself. Normally once you go about five in, um, it stops having the integrity of the block. But it also depends what it's connected to. 
So if I just mostly move between here and go back and forth a little bit, you're going to play a bit yourself. Um, so into the shadow, shadow goes. That's fair. You have fun, shadow. You, you, you lurk in yourself for a bit. I will end up updating that lurk to be a little bit more creative after a while, but like I always figure it as like literally lurking in the shadows. If I'm lurking, it's, you know, in the darkness. That sounded like a bit went behind me. It may go down at some point. Maybe. Either way. It could also be because it's only up by two. If I take this solidly up three on the wall, it'll be not close enough to the bottom and it'll go down. It's interesting facts that you find out when you spend too much time mining. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. I think I'll have to put something in that hole so that zombies can't get in there. I also don't want to mine out this like little bit here. I just need to take it up to level. There we go. Yeah, right. If I can collapse this, I don't have to waste the time mining it. I may not get all the resources for it, but I may get some of them. If I do it right, it'd be worth it. It's just fun facts about um, mining this stuff. You don't always have to mine every single block if you're careful with it. You can just collapse the section. I'm just surprised that it hasn't already gone down, but I may just have to scooch back along the inner bit and just lift it up a bit. It's not sitting up too high yet. Also, I imagine that this wouldn't be difficult for any, like, casual player to do. Like, what I'm doing with, like, leveling shit out. But I think it does take a little bit of practice to not dig too far or to keep this auger, like, roughly where you want it to be going. So as to not end up, like, angling off or, like, digging too far out. Also knowing this little trick with the roof by like just like scooting yourself along a little bit that also helps that was something I took a little bit to learn because I don't usually crouch and only dig two blocks at a time and while I'm here I'm only digging one block at a time I should be getting a fair bit of fucking rocks so if I required more sand I could just crush the rocks you can do that you can um it's one of the recipes you can just say crush rocks into sand. Alright, let me dig my way out here. Okay. So now I'm standing up. This is this is a rock shelf and a half. Yep. Alright. Not much further. And then I can go sideways. Get back in under here. Notice it pushes you down even more. So it pushes you down a little bit extra, which is why I've got to dig away at the roof to move. Whoa. Interesting. Okay, that was a lot looser there than I thought it would be. What are you doing, Nick? Are you trying to unlock vehicles? Oh, I'm just going to the crates. Hi. I thought you were I thought you were like looting something and then I saw you're at the traders, I'm like, huh. Nearly at this corner. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I don't know how, look, I, I couldn't probably explain how I find this stuff, like, calming. But it's very thoughtless work. Like, you, you get to have a break, and you know, anybody knows that, like, whenever you've got your brain constantly going, constantly active, and then you, like, give it a break where it doesn't have to be actively thinking about stuff or doing things constantly, um, it can end up being really relaxing, almost meditative, meditative fucking hell. I can get my fucking words out. But yeah, look at this. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I collapse this whole shelf. I'm pretty sure Grim's over there. He was watching me for a moment before and he's probably watching this like, what the fuck? Like, all he asked me to do was get some clay and I was a little too eager about it. But yeah, I will get clay. That's for fucking certain. Alright, that takes it almost level. Um, I could probably take it a little bit more than that. Where can I get in? 
over here. This will get me in here. There we go. Um, just a little bit further. I take this straight up. All the way up into this corner, like right there. There we go. So what I want to do is just take this in by a little bit more. So when I collapse this shelf, it will be basically keeping it straight. Straight lined. It'd be great. Um, I'm stuck. There we go. Funny thing is, this actually kind of changes a little bit when... Um, when I look around or when I get stuck on something or remove a block, it sometimes changes how the rocks look a little bit. Um, not too much. Again, I saw Grim running past then. I said the light keeps going. He's got his headlight on. Let me get forwards. It should take me out. Hopefully almost any minute. And then I'll run along this and I'll do this the whole way along and just take out the areas above me and see if I can get it to fall down. That's basically the goal. Oh, that bit went. You doing, Azula? You stretching out over there, are you? She is a very sleepy, peaceful kitty. She had a... Um, a little pack of pom-poms and um pom-poms and what else did she get got like these like little paper just make you quiet she got these little like paper ball thingies arrived today so she's pretty fucking stoked about that she loves them um it's one of those things where it's like they are somehow more interesting than they look um but yeah, she fucking loves them. So as soon as I made some up for her, she was all already all over them. That's the best part about having the drone here, is I can literally just junk it full of that and keep going. That's something I do love about having a, a drone once I start mining. Before then, it can be a problem. Get this out of here. Okay, that's basically a straight line up to Grimm's door. I don't want to take that down any lower. That is genuinely about as straight a line as I can get, so time to get in here. Basically what I want to do, not just go forwards with this, but also up. That is high as I can get. There we go. There's some of Oh, fucking hell. It reformed. You're getting sleepy, are you, Nightwolf? I'm not... Surprise. Oh, there's a zombie over there. There's a zombie attacking your base, Grim. From the um, southwest end. Do I, want an impact driver? I don't see why not. They're pretty good. I'll wait for now. I'll straighten this up and then I'll I'll divvy up the um, rock face above it. Like this. I'm going to take it straight up. About as straight up as I can fucking get this. And just bring it forwards. And hopefully this will be enough to... The only problem is, whatever's clay yep, will drop screamed. it. Oh, is it a screamer? Yep. I thought it was just a generic zombie. Alright. Prepare for combat. A stretch. Thank you, Shadow. Oh, no, combat. <laughs> oh, man. That's like the random button. Ooh. Green. Hydrate too, yep. Oh. Yeah. I found a mission that was only 150 meters away. I didn't realize my arms were sore. 150 meters. Oh, yeah, the burgers and fries place. Yeah, we went through that. It's not bad mission. Yeah, I appreciate the um, stretch and the hydrate um, shadow. Like. The whole point is that they are there to kind of remind me to do it, and I do sometimes okay. wonder if, done. like, my voice wouldn't get as rip if I, like, sipped on water more frequently. I still think it would, but the stretches and stuff like that, like, my body is actually really sore today because I went too hard exercising yesterday. And um, when I went to stretch last night during stream, everything hurt, and then today when I woke up, everything hurt even more, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, I did stuff. 
Um, so stretching it out more often will probably help as well. Uh, hopefully Grim's alright with the zombies that he's got over there. Where am I digging down to? Really yeah. My um, axe. The big yeah. axe, not the axe. Mm. You're like breaking the wood things all the time. No. Some pancakes, tea with honey would do some good. Maybe. You know the funny thing is, like, you know like the tr traditional like pancakes and stuff like that, you get like a stack of pancakes and whatever. I actually prefer um, what's called pikelets, but having them, like in Australia we call them hot cakes, right? If you eat them for breakfast. And um, they're just pikelets, but they're like the Australian version of pancakes. And like, I fucking love them. Um, they are really nice, like cold or hot with um, honey or maple syrup and stuff like that. And it's something I really like. The funny thing is when I moved out of home originally, and I couldn't cook. I could bake. So one of the things that I did do is I started making pikelets. I more often than not had pikelets for like dinner because it was something that I could make. Um, that and toasted cheese sandwiches because I literally just had to put them in a jaffle maker. Um, there was no effort involved in that. I, I wouldn't necessarily fuck it up. That and pre-made soups. This ate that a lot. Nicely. But yeah. Pancakes with fucking honey, tea and honey and stuff like that. Just sounds really nice. Sounds relaxing. The pikelets, they look very similar. What's the difference? Um, the difference is I think pikelets have sugar and I think baking soda and um, self-raising flour, I think. I think that's the difference. Oh, and um, soured milk. So you add vinegar to milk the only other thing I can think of um yeah that that's all I could think of that would be different it's it's a real subtle difference but it ends up tasting really sweet and light uh, whereas a lot of like pancakes taste dry so sometimes like I'll get pancakes or something if I go out somewhere but I end up being disappointed because like I'm expecting it to be sweet like hotcakes or pikelets and um so then I just end up disappointed, which is usually why pancakes are usually supplemented with like a lot of berries and stuff like that to keep them sweet, right? But pikelets don't need that. Like I add honey and I, I add maple syrup and stuff just because I like sugary stuff. So I'll do that. But like, yeah. <laughs> um, pancakes. Pancakes I need to like absolutely smother in syrup and icing sugar and like berries and stuff like that to enjoy it and they have to not be dry like whoever makes them has to make them properly all right we got some world breaking going on over here it's fantastic all right so this is kind of it's been mostly straight it's not quite there it, it thinks it's doing a thing let's get a yucca smoothie in us i might actually eat two of these because she's kind of hungry this is doing 22 food so it's doing a massive amount of water though yeah, once I get this away from the wall, I'm hoping it either breaks up and falls down or it doesn't. If there's not a lot of effort involved in this. Not a lot holding on to it. If I could reach up there like that. Jump a bit. Ooh, this could work. Oh, I've got a spot that I can stand on here. That's awesome. Well, this will this will probably do it if I can separate it from the wall. I just want to crumple this so I don't have to mine the entire fucking section. That's what I'm trying to do. Doing the lazy miner. So imagine pikelets with what's it? A crunchy outside filled with soft bits of apples and sprinkled and powdered with sugar. That's the Polish ways. See, that sounds alright, but it also sort of sounds a bit like um. Are uh, like little hot apple pies and shit that we get like at Macos and stuff. Like, that sounds very similar to it, which I do enjoy. Um, like they're not actually pies. Like do not think that they're like a slice of pie or something. They're like a little like pocket of like almost almost pastry, but not quite with like this like apple cinnamon filling. All right, 
Concrete really nice. stun. I actually really like um, a lot of apple and cinnamon stuff. One of my like favorite treats that I used to get myself at school, um, which was really the only time I had like money occasionally to like choose what I wanted to eat when I was growing up, um, was to get like an apple slice. Because like school cafeteria um, make the best fucking apple slice ever. I don't know why, I don't know how, but um, I, I can't just get it at a normal bakery. It's always shit somewhere else. I'm going to go up and cut this off from the top. He sees Shadow, runs to Shadow. See, he's happy now. He's wagging his tail. Okay, where is this sever? Right about here. Looks like it. Oh, it might be deeper down. What the fuck? This thing just smashed up against the ground. Brilliant. This is showing the roof. So where the fuck else is it showing the roof? Maybe it's lower down? It makes no sense. Is there... Hmm. Interesting. I can make a couple of point holes. Alright, I'm going to go back up the top because I know that there was one spot that had a hole. Yeah, Grim's still building cobblestone. You haven't... Oh, you're giving Nightwolf a light head massage. Probably enjoy that. Yeah, here. So I reckon... Oh, I didn't need to do that. Damn it. Man, I am going like all of all creative on this wall and it's still not coming down. <laughs> it's really stupid. I'm like, I'm trying to prove the point that I don't have to put much effort into this fucking thing by like avoiding mining it. And it's turning out just as much, if not more effort. Yeah, it seems like Nightwolf might want some more belly belly rubs. Um, I feel like tonight's just going to be like a montage of me just mining non-stop, but that's okay. We need some Eye of the Tiger music playing. No. <laughs> no, we don't. Hell yeah. Oh, man. Proper montage music. Like, you guys can listen to that. Get oh, my yeah. ass. Are you? No, you're listening to your book. Like, oh, I'm listening to it. Oh man, that would get me demonetized so fast. Um, is it, you know, it'll stay and give him proper belly rubs and scratches. Yeah, really enjoy that. Yeah, see, I don't know where. I've got this entire ribbon here, and it must just be a shelf hanging out past it. Let me dig through this. Yeah, right, I've got a theory. It's not a game theory, but it's a theory. It might be a game theory, who knows. Last I checked, I wasn't map hat. Um, if this is like the shelf or whatever that's hanging out, I imagine it must be under here. There's like a layer down there. I'm guessing I can't see it because of all this stuff sitting here. Yeah, it is. There. That's where it opens up. Nice. Alright. That's too easy. Um, that's a lot further over than I really thought it would be. That's it. Rolls around whining happily. Sounds like he's laughing. Oh. I still swear, like, every time I think of, like, a wolf laughing, I just think of that meme of, like, the white wolves standing around and they just look like they're, like, having a serious laugh. I find that really funny. I love a lot of the memes, like, related to that. Like, you know, the um, the two starter Pokemon and the one that's, like, left behind um, and stuff like that. Or, like, um, what's it? Uh, when your parents give you a, um, a bed for your birthday, even though you thought you were getting a computer. And they're like, it's so you can keep gaming on. Or oh, what is it? So you can keep dreaming on. <laughs> and stuff like that. That's some therapeutic sounds right there. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, I don't think I've personally heard, um, like, I don't know about wolves, but I don't think I've heard, like, a dog sound like it's laughing before. Like, I've seen them do, like, the weird eyes where they, like, 
look overly human and stuff and that's like that's always one of those weird situations where like you've said something and your dog looks at you and it's like wait did it understand what I just said it's like that creepy moment where you're not sure if it's actually just a human pretending to be a dog or something I was actually watching a meme uh, video the other day this uh, another screamer coming into your base grim um I was I was watching this Same meme side. I'm not sure I could hear her so she's close um Oh, maybe near me. Yeah, near me. I got her. I don't know if there's any zombies coming with it. Um, yeah, so I was watching this video of this guy who was pretending to be a Labradoodle. Um, and his mate's asking him, it's like, what does this, like, do... How, how are you a Labradoodle? Like, you're clearly a person and stuff like that. And it's like, it's it's all on the eyes. I have really expressive eyes. And after they got into conversation, it's like, yeah, you've got, like, a really nice coat. And it's like, yeah, see? And stuff like that. And, um, like, it, it just kept getting fucking funnier from there. And then the, the owner came home. And the other guy pretended to be a, um, a Labradoodle Doesn't as well. Like oh, I already got her. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, I don't think there's any other zombies coming. Yeah. I think she only like did the announcing screen that she was in the area and then I killed her so she must have been able to call in any but yeah it, it was pretty funny it's like the owner comes home and, and she's like she's confused at first and then like the dog obviously like panics and it's like oh my god I don't know who this is and stuff like that but like for a moment there you know it's doing like the whole side eye things and like um you know how dogs always have that like little shifty side eye when it's like looking at something but it's not sure about it and i'm like yeah i can see how i can see how he's a labradoodle 100 percent could see it um for anyone who says doggos don't have souls never actually look them in the eyes um i don't know oh here we go all the way over now, any clay and, like, any excessive stone and stuff that fell down here, I don't have to... I don't have to worry too much. I can mine, like, little bits. I didn't get the resources for it. That's kind of bullshit. I was hoping to, like, collectively pick up some baggies. Whatever. We got rid of it. That's the main thing, as I got rid of that massive shelf. Um, Yeah, I don't know if the photos of Sheila and the um, show off your pets channel or whatever... Uh, really like shows her eyes and stuff. I think there's one photo where she's like looking directly into it and stuff But um, it was really shitty lighting But um, she had like really like sweet eyes um, Yeah, all right, I'm not gonna try to like shift this any more than this I know Grim's not gonna care too much if this is kind of a bit dodge looking And it just goes straight down the line since obviously I didn't get the resources for it before I might as well and put in. And grab the mods and stuff out of the container. I did. Mine has mods. Oh. Yeah. See. I just I it, mine only has one slot available, yes. so I can only put the container. I'm good now. I'm only the books. Mm. Oh, I know it's going to take a while. Not really. I need two more books and I can make it tier four. Is it at the same time? Doggo pits only ever the judgment eyes. Well, oh. yeah. No. Um. I used to find it was really hard to take a photo of Sheila because um, she every time I pointed a camera at her, she thought I wanted her right. to come to me. I'm gonna make more cool stuff. Um. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, she would immediately, whatever Slowly she was doing, she would up. jump up and like run to me. And so it was really oh, hard to get good of photos. Things that's just going to take a lot of time and resource. Oh yeah. That's, that's generally what building is. That's why you'll right. often see me going Fine mining enough. for ages. Alright. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Catch you around, oh, buddy. Shit. Oh, I'm going to have to dig all this up. Oh. All the belly rubs for Nightwolf, yeah. Definitely. Alright, I got one bag of clay. Um, yeah, Sheila and Phoenix both do the same thing. Oh, 
Sheila did the same thing, was that every time I go to take a photo, she would get up and run to me, um, thinking like I needed something or wanted to like you need a, get um, pats and stuff in that moment. Dump all the stuff off. No. Temporarily. No. I got my okay. robotic drone. Once my inventory is full and its inventory is full, I'll just take it back to my base. Yeah, no worries. Um, 